Hi, I'm Jeff Cogswell, and today I thought I would share with you some resources that are available online to help you explore and learn to program the Xeon Phi coprocessor. Uh, first of all, uh, don't forget there's our own Go Parallel website, which is packed full of a lot of excellent blogs from several writers, including myself, and lots of good information here. But also, Two of the engineers at Intel have written a fantastic book called Intel Xeon Phi Coprocessor High Performance Programming. And I have a copy right here. And I highly recommend it. It's filled with information. Um, you can click on the look inside and get a, a look at the table of contents and you'll see it explores everything from the the basics of how the the coprocessor is built what it does how it functions alongside the main processor and then it goes on to cover uh, information that are that is beginning parallel programming uh, multi-core programming vectorization and whatnot and there's both a kindle version and paperback version available and I also recommend exploring the website that these authors have created. Let me get to that real quick here. It's called lotsofcores.com, and you can download the code samples. Let me make this a little bigger for you. You can download the code samples, and there's some figures and charts and whatnot that you can explore as well. Lots of good information there. And then the engineers at Intel also wrote another book, called Structured Parallel Programming, Patterns for Efficient Computation. Again, an excellent book. You can click on it and see the table of contents and a few pages out of it. Now, Amazon says it's temporarily out of stock as I'm uh, recording this video right now, but there are copies around out there, and I strongly encourage you to go find one and check it out. Uh, next, Intel has a ton of resources on their site. Uh, this one I've been pretty happy with. It's a whole book basically called Programming and Compiling for Intel Mini Integrated Core Architecture. And again, this takes you through a, all the basics all the way up to the advanced information. Now, you notice in here, it's actually got some vectorization essentials. In other words, some of the beginning stuff. And what that tells us is that this material doesn't just apply to the Xeon Phi coprocessor, but it applies to parallel programming in general. And that's one reason I strongly recommend that you explore these topics, because even if you don't have access to a Xeon Phi coprocessor, which you probably will eventually, sooner or later we're all going to be using very high core processors. But even now, these topics apply to just say two core and quad core programming. So the information you find in here can be used for smaller programs too, not just the big heavy duty multi-core many core ones. Now I will post the links to these by the way down below the video so you can quickly get to them because some of these URLs are kind of big. This one has a whole bunch of videos. Again there's James Reinders who wrote co-wrote the two books I mentioned earlier and there are lots of really good videos on here. Some introductory ones uh, as well as covering a whole array of topics. Um, threading with OpenMP, uh, distributed computing with the Intel MPI library. Lots of good stuff there. And then here are some more webinars. Uh, these are put on by several people. Uh, there's one, again, by James Reinders. And they've got both the slides and the videos. And they've got an introduction and an introduction to the Xeon Phi. Optimizing and compilation, GNU debugger, message passing interface, lots of good stuff there. Math kernel library. And if you're curious about what goes on out in the real world, Here's a really interesting site. This is the Texas Advanced Computing Center. They have a massive cluster of Xeon Phi coprocessors that they are actually using these in production to do real world research. Uh, it says down here they are running 6,400 nodes. I don't think all of those are Xeon Phi's, but many of them are. And 102,000 cores. You might check out their website because they've got some really neat stuff on here and it tells some of the research they're doing and you can get some ideas for what this stuff is really used for in the real world. And they even have information on if you're a researcher and need access to their system. That's available and you can contact them. So that's just some of the resources that are available out there. There's so much to learn and what I recommend is 
attend as many Intel Live seminars as you can. Uh, read as much as you can, starting with these resources I've got here. And like any programming knowledge, it takes practice, practice, practice. I've been programming for 30 years now, and I'm still learning new things every week. Lots to learn out there. Keep studying.